Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, but if you're new, hi hello, I'm Artsy from The Artsy Gamer. I make art, I play games, and I encourage others to do the same. So I need to preface this video um, before we get into it that I have never really been a demo person. Like I don't download demos and hope for the best and and try new things because I like my comforts and I like my comfort cozy games. I like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley when I remember to play with it, Feared Fair. Um, the, the comfy games that I can get immersed in for a couple of hours or just really pick and choose what I want to prioritize. And very recently I have, th this may be an, a duh moment for all of you, but there's so many games out there. There are so many incredible games that if I just give them a chance and try new things, which is very hard in this economy, that I think I would have a lot more in my arsenal. But I also recognize that the gaming hobby is incredibly expensive for a lot of us. And so within the last couple of weeks, the spring sale on Steam has provided a lot of opportunities for us to revisit these games that did not really get the hype at launch. And, you know, perhaps they are the cozy adjacent that we really truly need in our lives. We're going to be trying the free demo for Haven Park. So I'm going to kind of like read to you the synopsis and let's see, let's see how we feel about it. B. Flint, who is doing his best to keep his grandma's park up and running, and make it a place for the campers to enjoy. Learn the campers' wishes and build whatever their hearts desire to attract even more quirky characters to look forward to whimsical conversations and quests. Now, what I love about Steam is because it's not connected to any other console like Nintendo Switch, Steam's like, this is not any sort of game that you've ever played. I, I don't know how to tell Steam. That that's not true. An animal character that you get to play to create a park to invite other quirky characters to, you know, interact with and perhaps, you know, complete quests. That doesn't sound like something that I would do regularly, if not daily, for the past three years at all. So developed by Bubblebird Studio, specifically Fabian Weibel. I hope that I got his name right. I'm really excited to give this a try because the game itself is about $10. So at the time of this recording, it's currently on sale for 60% off, which means that um, if I buy this, I will have effectively purchased it for under $4, which is very exciting for me. Before I get into the veggie meat and potatoes of this demo, I want to provide a couple of disclaimers. So first and foremost, I strive to give games the benefit of the doubt of the fact that the games that are created and shared are works of love. You know, it may not be for me, but it may be for you. So based on the fact that we are all individuals, unique special snowflakes in how we play games, this game may be something that I absolutely love and may not be for you, or perhaps it's the other way around. Either way, it's just my opinion on the basis of how I like to play games, and it sparked my interest to the point where I was like, I should feature this on the Artsy Gamer. What is really exciting about Haven Park is the same thing that I have been appreciating with a lot of games that I've seen recently, is that it is playable on the PC, it's playable on the Mac, and it's also available on the Nintendo Switch. So if the game demo seems interesting enough for you to give it a try, I will leave the links of where you can find it and pick it up for yourself. All right, so I've basically just been talking. I'm going to stop and we're going to get right into the video. All right, the music and sounds fine. And then here's the controls. We have a WASD control situation. Jump is space, action is E, map is tab. Cancel, close, escape. So very simple controls that I think will be very easy for me to navigate. I'm still kind of annoyed by the fact that for the computer experience, there is no mouse navigation option. But uh, again, I think that if these controls are so um, keyboard oriented, I do think that it's probably going to be really easy to translate to a console experience. So I do like that. I'm already uh, loving the colors. I'm loving the music. And, you know, I'm just gonna shop and, and get into it. Ooh, Haven Park, a tiny exploration game. Do you remember? 
you were just a child. Spending long summer afternoons playing near the old tower. Imagining your own adventures. <gasps> oh, the art is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I barely remember. Grandma. Oh, it's Grandma. Grandma, please don't die. I, I don't have the time for feelings. This is too much for me. Oh, responsibilities. Flint. I was about your age. When I started to take care of the park, I felt overwhelmed. Wow. Wow, this is gorgeous. It took me years to understand something. I didn't take care of this place. This place took care of me? Is that, is that... Oh my goodness. Oh, I the animations are so quirky, but in such a beautiful way. I love the nature tones that have a little pink. That's so lovely. Oh, wow. I... <laughs> I'll try my best. That's the only thing that we can do in this life. Look around you. Listen. Wow, this intro is really setting the tone. A beautiful day is about to start. I love the standing stone uh, sculptures. That's something that I used to do growing up. Oh, that's such a nice touch. Because I see that everywhere around the world. I've seen it in Korea. I've seen it in Arizona. So, oh, it, it throws me right in, into using buttons. Okay. So here is something that I kind of would prefer when it comes to uh, intros. I do think it's really important to have some level of voice acting because if you have dyslexia or um, maybe processing words that are written down takes a little bit longer. I didn't press any buttons to have the the conversation move and I thought that it was a little bit fast, but this is so cute. So we're playing Flint. How should I get started? And I guess the uh, E is interacting. Do you remember where the campsites are? Absolutely no idea. Not really. It's okay. You can start by finding Sunshine Cove. Oh, are we just being thrust out of the nest? Is, is Grandma just like kicking us out? Sunshine Cove? It's the closest camp from here. Go west and you'll find it. Bold of you to assume that I remember any sort of direction, Grandma. What else can I do? I haven't been able to do much lately. Many things are probably broken. You can try to fix them. Okay. I'm sure you'll find your way. Now go. Okay, so I guess the first quest is to find the Camp of Sunshine Cove. Use directional buttons to move. Okay. <gasps> this house is so cute, though. I mean, I would live here. I would live here. Okay, so we need to go west. That That's west, right? That's west? Okay. But also, let's, like, let's explore. Because uh, what else is there to do in a demo but to explore and enjoy? And oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, we can get in the water? <gasps> We can swim! Ooh, it's even faster than an Animal Crossing. Let's go. I wonder who these houses belong to. I know that I'm going uh, east or, you know, west. Is that a tombstone? Oh, we can interact. That's five. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming that the numbers are on the basis of, like, which campsites that we go, but we'll, we'll, we'll listen to Grandma. So let's go see. And, oh, wait, hello? What's that? A shiny? Oh, okay, can I, can I get up? Can I get up? Ooh, press E to collect. One coin, let's go. Finders, keepers. And I'm assuming... 
we need to press E to fix the direction sign. Minus three wood. Not enough resources. Oh, but there's wood here. So one. Now let's do it. Press escape. Well, let's fix this first and then we'll try it. <gasps> we did the thing. Yay. Okay, so quests. Find the camp of Sunshine Cove and maintain the park. 2%. Look at that. Look at that. My first day and I'm already 2% of the way there. Let's go. Ooh, but let's collect. Is this more wood? See, when I see these, I'm thinking like it's a huge log that you sit on. And I'm assuming that we'll have to clean these little uh, stools up too. All oh, the butterflies are gorgeous. And press E for a hint. Press E. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, I do love some games that break the fourth wall where they're basically talking to you. Like, thank you, Invisible Voice. So, uh, that's fun. That's super fun. Can I, like, go this way? Oh, that's awesome. <gasps> Wait, what's here? What's up here? I see a box. Listen. Thank you, free random box. Okay. The demo version. So I guess the demo version is on point experience, maybe? Ooh. Not enough items in my inventory. Okay. My preference for games is exploration. I really enjoy just kind of going and doing my own thing. Ooh, I've reached a level. I found a camp. Oh, you should add it to your map. It was in way better shape in my memories. Let's see if I can build some things. Like a few tents or a place to eat. The campers will be much happier. <gasps> Find all the camps. Okay, so we need to... Wow. Wow, there's a lot to, to do. What can I make? Oh my god, this is... I love this. This is so cute. So you basically are... It, it, this feels a lot like Pocket Camp. And I say this because I've never actually played Pocket Camp. You get to have a campsite and you get to decorate it. That's really cute. And you can put a, uh, a fire here. That's lovely. But let's see if we can find more stuff and maybe a couple of friends. Wow. Wow. Grandma was having some hard time. Here we have fabric. More metal. Okay. I also really do appreciate games that encourage the player to explore. Where you could just kind of go around and do your own thing. But also that it's part of the story. Ooh. Um, let, let's... A teepee or a tent? Oh. I do like the tent, so let's do that. Did I, did I do it? I did it. <gasps> Can I rotate it? How do I rotate it? Mm. No, we'll put it. We'll put it right here. <gasps> oh, that's how you rotate. Oh, we're going to give it some uh, really nice... Uh, Diagonal action. <gasps> Wait, we can edit it? What? Oh, okay, we can't change the color. Never mind. Okay, so let's find. Let's find a bestie. Also, can I build a campfire? Ooh, yeah, we can put it. We'll put it like right here. Yeah. Oh, wait. I wanna. I wanna place this. Be a little bit better. <gasps> a new camper arrived! Say what? Okay, uh, press. Let's light that fire. Let's go. I have to wonder can I be put on fire? No. <gasps> Ooh, who's this? Welcome to the park. Thanks, I really like it here. Tomorrow I would like to see the canyon leading to the yellow fields. Oh, yes, it's a nice place. How can I get there? You can simply walk north and you'll find it. All right, so who what is, who is this? Is this another bird? You're a bit tired. Ooh, his name is Gus. You're having a good time. Okay. Oh, he... So, in order to complete Sunshine Cove, I guess we have to make sure that there's 
those four requirements. So we have shelter, we have rest, we can make a barbecue. Oh, we need another thing of rest too. I see. Okay. Well, let's do the barbecue because that, I think that requires more. Oh, this is so cute. Can we have this in game? I know we sort of kind of have this in Animal Crossing, but these game, these are so adorable. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Um, uh, wait, 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 mm, no, uh, where, how do I, how do I place a thing? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did, did I already build the thing? Did I, did I already, there we go. You know, I think what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to put it right here. Yeah. And then we're going to rotate it. Ooh, that's cute. That's cute. Love it. Okay, so we need another rest uh, piece. The Sure. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, we're going to put it... Mm. Yeah, we'll put it right here. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so I completed that. Oh, you? This... Hello? Oh, I guess he doesn't want to talk. Okay. Wow, this is so cute! So... This is basically, I think, the the whole premise of you're starving. Well, uh oh, a new camper has arrived in Sunshine Cove. Okay, so we need an another another thing. Press E. No. Oh, <gasps> so cute. Who is this? I noticed the direction signs are broken. Someone should repair them. You were right. I'll take care of that. Also. Some campers are not very happy. Oh, why is that? Something about having to sleep on the ground? Not having any places to buy food? Things like that? I see. I'll do something about that. Wow. Oh, geez. There's no place. Listen, I'm, I'm working on it. Wow. You know, in playing Animal Crossing, where the... The animals are really just happy by being there. This is a lot of pressure. <laughs> oh, I have literally n nothing. You know what? How how do two mushrooms and a metal make a, a radio? Love the music, though. Love the music. Okay, we're going to put it... We'll put it right here. Oh jeez. Oh don't don't get caught on fire, please. Alright, there we go. And then I need decorations. Uh oh my god, the garland though. The torch though. The palm tree though. Oh, this is so cute. Ooh, I like the garland. The garland's cute. So we need to find a bit more stuff to collect. Aww, this is a cute little area. I can open my notebook by pressing escape. My notebook. Nine? I Do I press... I guess I press the number equivalent to skills. No? Uh, oh. It's the page number. Oh. Okay, so skills not available in, de in demo. Master builder. Find more coins. Oh, that's cool. So you can unlock things in order to have an easier time. Find more metal. Uh, metal. Find more metal. Find more wood. Find more mushrooms. Oh. Find more fabric. Ooh. Hmm. See further while exploring. Hmm. I think I think I want to find more uh, wood. Yes. Very cool. Ooh, whoa. Hello. Hello, resources. Um, pew pew. I wonder what the pew pew means. Wow, the depth of field, though. 
This is pretty. I love this. I, I really do appreciate the fact that they put a lot of time into allowing you to enjoy the the ambiance of this game. The the environment is just delightful. You okay. Ooh, coins. I'll take that coin. Also, a a bridge that is over a canyon. Listen. Oh, this is so cute. I have no idea where I am. Thankfully, I have this thing called a map. Because who who follows directions? Ooh. I've earned a new skill point. Ooh, more stuff. Oh. Ooh, a riverbed that's been dried up. Goodness gracious. Oh, I guess here with the demo version, I was worried that I could only collect a couple of experience before the uh, the game was done. But I think the focus is to finish Sunshine, Sunshine Cove. Oh, not enough resources. What resources would I need for that? Wait, I see a box. Hello. I also appreciate this game allows me to get distracted and hyper fixate on things in the moment. <laughs> so, oh. How do, I, how do I get back up? Hello? No! No! Coin, though! Can I fix the torch? <gasps> Ooh! Can I light it? There we go. Come on! No, you got it! You got it! You got it, Flint! Yeah! Good job! I need that coin. Thanks, dude. I like playing as a character that isn't me. That's something that I've come to appreciate recently. Like, I've played RimWorld and everything, and I've played Mass Effect and recently Spiritfarer, and oh, can I do a city set? Can I do a city set? I can't interact? I can stand. Aw, no city sets. That's sad. But I do like the fact that, I don't know, I think it kind of, like, it allows for you to appreciate the game without being fully immersed in it. You know what I mean? Where, where am I? Where am I? Okay. Where am I, though? Uh-oh. I guess I just- I should just keep going down. Right? Yeah. There we are! There we are! Yummy! I'm glad that you're eating! Alright, and then we'll do- We'll do another one right here, so they have a little bit of privacy. There you go! And then- oh, I think I want to make the garland. I'm- I'm a garland girly. Let's go. And I can afford it! There are coins to collect in some buildings in this camp? Wait, what? Ooh, like right here. Nice! Can I talk to you? You're having a good time! Love it for you! Uh, what a- You're a bit tired? We'll go to sleep, my dude. Wait, where- where did the kitty go? Where did the kitty go? Oh, there she is. There she is! Best holidays ever! Okay, well you seem very- Another camper has a ro- Wow, does it just keep going? Does it just keep going? You need to get- well, go to sleep! Oh, oh my god! So cute! I was worried there'd be too many people, especially at this season, but it's just perfect. It's usually not too crowded here. That's what I like about this place. That's cute. Oh, you're feeling sleepy. Okay, well, here, let me see if I can build an another thing. You'll sleep on the floor. No, 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 no. Oh, you may have to. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, here, I will, I will go find more fabric. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Also, the glowing. The glowing is cute. I like this. Oh, I'm not lost. I'm just directionally challenged. And I feel really bad that this person just kind of showed up and now I have to find something. So I need fabric. Ooh, fabric. Okay, that's one fabric. Uh, let me see. Ooh, ooh, let's go. There we go. Wait, who's, who lives here? 
Hello? Hello? I'm just taking your stuff. Don't worry about it. Let's see, what about over here? I wonder what the pew stands for. Pewing for a friend. Like, what 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 does what does the pew stand for? <gasps> oh, I thought that was a pumpkin for a minute and I got super excited. Oh, I wonder okay, so I think I had learned another skill. Let me see. Um let's let's do the night vision. There we go. This is very darling. The coloring is really sweet. I do like that, you know, you can't... Be, oh, remember? Press space to jump. Right. I, I do like the, the nighttime mechanic where you can't see everything. Wow. I think... I think I'm going... Okay, here we go. All right. Here. Can I wake her up and be like, take this? Oh, jeez. We're gonna put her... Oh. We're gonna put her right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can I wake you up? Oh, Dina. Dina. Bestie. We need three fabric. 30 coin. A swing. <gasps> fireworks. I don't like fireworks in real life, but that's okay. That's interesting. They just go off. And Dina's just sleeping through it. Man. Alright, so we need a place for resting. Sure, we'll, we'll do a... I'll put the umbrella like right here. Just to like give her some semblance of shelter. You know, I'm so sorry. There you go. And then... Let's do another decoration. Um, sure, a palm tree? Yeah, we'll put a palm tree. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right here. Yeah, right... Here. Okay. Well, there we go. Wow. This is really cute. I love this. This is adorable. I want to redo every single, like, thing about this, but collecting the the materials required is really simple. Getting to explore at night. Oh, I can hardly see anything, and I love it. This really reminds me of Dinkum, actually, where uh, when you try to do anything at night, it feels impossible because of how low light the vision is. But I love this. I do love how some of the, like, mushrooms and flowers are glowing. Press E, too. Alright, what's up here? Ooh. Collect. Oh! <gasps> Level 3! Oh, a new camp found! Western Creek. Oh. Oh my god, I thought... I, I thought that was a spider for like a hot minute, and I was not prepared for a combat mechanic. I was not. That would have been a really fun time. Seeing me flail and trying to <laughs> survive the night. What's over here? Okay, so we have Western Creek, Dead Lake, which we visited, and then the canyon. Press E. Three. Okay. Ooh. Wait. Oh, that's not something I can pick up. Oh. Hello? Can you open the gate? Yes, I can. Okay. Will you? I want something in exchange. Okay. Of course you do. I love the sass. Flint is absolutely my inner monologue with any, like working with anything in retail. Like, of course you do. <laughs> I need something of high value. Do you want coin? Aha! No. Much higher value. 
My my soul? A gem. Where can I find that? There is an old tale. A gem was hidden at the black tower. Find it and bring it to me. Then I'll open the gate. Okay, so this is not just about building cute campsites for cute villagers. There's like... stuff. So my thoughts about Haven Park. I didn't want to go further with the demo because I think it is very immersive and it really opens the game and I didn't want to be super spoilery. So we got to the point where our first quest was unlocked, where we found the gem in the Black Tower, which coincidentally is a campsite in Haven Park. I did not know what to expect going into playing this game. I was really just expecting kind of like a more friendly experience to like Animal Crossing Pocket Camp where there weren't, you know, microtransactions or, you know, allowing for you to really explore and try new things. I did really appreciate the fact that there was a cozy storyline where you could just build various campsites and meet villagers. The villagers are not particularly interactive at the point of the demo, so I don't know if that becomes more developed as the story continues, but I do really appreciate that you are just picking and finding resources and you're designing really delightful little campsites to help your grandma. Like, it, that is super cute. I also did not think that the quest would really pique my interest. So the fact that there are NPCs throughout the park that encourage you to do more exploration and to find things for them is really cute. It's super cool. And I do love that dual experience with games where you could just collect and build, but then also advance the storyline at your own leisure. So definitely worth the purchase, I think, especially since this game is presently on sale for 60% off at under $4 at the time of this recording. So I'm going to do what I can to get it out there before the spring Steam sale event is over. And I highly recommend that even if you don't purchase it by the time the sale is over, like consider doing the demo for the Switch or for the computer. I thought that I was going to have an issue with the no mouse capabilities for the keyboard, but it turns out it's not that hard. And I do think that this game would be really enjoyable on the console, like something that you can, you know, play while watching TV or just doing whatever it is that you like to do to get comfy and cozy. But Definitely worth considering, 100%. As far as the demo is concerned, I think it really does introduce to you the the gist of what you you can expect for the rest of the game. I really do like the fact that you get to play somebody that's not you, and it does has a lot of quirky, sarcastic remarks that breaks the fourth wall a little bit, and I really do appreciate it. So I actually think that. I'm going to get it. I want to give it a try. I think that it would be a fun thing to take a break from when I'm just, you know, not wanting to do heavy grind stuff or really super sandboxy stuff that I enjoy. And yeah, I think one of the only issues that I had was I know that it seems that there's there's a certain threshold for campers that fulfill a specific campsite. And I felt that as there were more and more campers coming into specifically Sunshine Cove that I got a little overwhelmed that I couldn't fulfill the requests for all of them. And I, I don't know, as I said, it is the demo, but I really do hope that there is more interactivity with the NPCs or the campers that come to visit, because I think that adds a lot more, it breathes more life into the gameplay itself when it's not just you talking to yourself or the bodiless voice that's directing you how to play the game. But other than that, I think it's worth considering. So the point of these reviews, as I said, is really just to try new things, to get out of my comfort zone and to find, I think Iona said it best, is to find something that's cozy adjacent, to really push yourself outside of the comfort games, to introduce yourself to other things that you would probably enjoy playing. So if you are interested in Haven Park, I want to hear about it. I think that the art is gorgeous, the ambiance is incredible. I think that after seeing the quest, I definitely want to know what the heck that's all about like a gem a black tower 
what? So I want to hear in the comments section below, what games have you been trying that is cozy adjacent? If you plan on trying the Haven Park demo, or if you already have the game, what you think about it, no, no, no spoileries, please and thank you. But I do want to hear whether or not that it is something that you enjoyed and why. And with that, friends, I will catch you next time. Bye.